Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna take place right here in my bathroom. And the reason for that is because I was out recently shopping for some makeup and skincare, which is what I do all the time. And I came across a brand that I hadn't really heard too much about. I think they might be fairly new, um, if I'm not mistaken. But I found a product from this brand that I thought looked interesting. So I picked one up, of course. And that is this guy right here, and it's by One Love Skincare, and it is their cleansing sponge. Now, they had a few different ones to choose from, so this is what it looks like, right? Isn't that so cute? I don't know. I thought it was cute. That's, I, I just get suckered into all these things. So, anywho, that's this guy here. It is shaped as a heart, which is what caught my attention, and it comes in I think three different ones maybe I think there's like the original one which white which might be white I think there's another one that's pink for like sensitive to dry skin and then there's this one which is the bamboo charcoal heart and this one caught my attention the most I guess or at least sounded the most appealing to me because on the packaging it says glow getter and I'm all about the glow getter. So it's supposed to be your clarifying and exfoliating cleansing sponge. I don't know if maybe that's what they all do, but in this particular one, it is the glow getter, and I'm always looking for something to enhance my glow. And I also get the occasional breakouts down here during that time of the month. And I figured this would help to kind of detox and clarify those areas maybe, I don't know. So the whole point to this is to soak it under warm water and it'll, just like the beauty blender I guess, it'll kind of expand to like double its size. You add your cleanser and you wash your face with this and it's supposed to give you a thorough cleanse. It's supposed to help to exfoliate and remove all of the impurities and just really clarify and brighten the skin. So I am always about anything that's gonna do any of those things to my skin. So I thought it would be fun to do that and show you guys what it's like. I've never used it, I waited to use it so that I can do it here with you guys on my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the water and soak this in there and see what happens to it and I'll be right back. <music> So I did remove the mascara that I had on, just so that I have to fuss with that later. I do still have all my foundation, blush, bronzer, and all that other stuff that I usually wear. So I went ahead and soaked the heart in warm water. So now it's just nice and, and smushy. And it actually did expand to a nice size. Add a little bit of my cleanser right onto that and go right into it. Okay, so I added a little bit of my cleanser right onto that. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna be a big hot mess trying to demonstrate this to you guys, but it is what it is. So here we go, we're just gonna go right at it. You can see all of my makeup right there on the front. Mm -hmm. The texture is really fun actually, I have to say. I'm gonna get a little bit more wet. I don't want it to get all of my clothes, okay. Okay, so it took everything off. Um, I am gonna go ahead and rinse this and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I washed that off and I have to say, my first initial reaction was I really, really liked the way this felt. Um, those that know me know that I have a serious texture issue. And when I like the way something feels, I'm all about it. So this just feels really good and it allows me to get a really good grip in my hand so that I can go all over and wash and cleanse. It just felt really good. So I, I actually really like this. Now, I typically like my cleansers to foam up and just give me a good lather. That's just how I feel squeaky clean. Even though I didn't really get like a lot of foam from it, I still got it to lather up pretty well. It removed everything. So, and I had on foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer. I had everything on this morning. So, it removed everything. You can see how clean and clear my skin looks. You can even see a glow. It actually worked really, really well and I am intrigued to keep trying it. I will keep trying it. I'll try it with some different cleansers too. 
and see if I can get more of a foam, but I don't even think it matters. I liked it. I think this was really fun. Now what they want me to do is rinse it off and then just hang it somewhere so that it can air dry. And that's kind of how to keep it nice and sanitary. Now, another thing about this brand, it is an organic brand, so that's a huge plus. It has, I believe, it's not a very complicated brand, which is what I like. From what I remember, it had like a cleansing oil, it had maybe one or two moisturizers, a mask, like not a lot of skews, and I think that's something that I look for nowadays because it gets very overwhelming and it gets very complicated when you don't know like which moisturizer to pick from like 10. You don't know which of the 15 cleansers is right for you and so on and so forth. So it seems like a very straightforward brand. I didn't buy anything else this time around just because I have so many other products to try and finish up. I didn't want to get any more. I just grabbed the heart. That's what caught my attention first. Though, now that I love this so much, I am intrigued to go see what else they have and what else I can try. So we'll see what else makes its way into my life because that's I'm a sucker for this. All stuff. right, guys, so that is it for today's video. That is the heart by One Love Skincare. I'm totally all about it. I'll let you know if I feel the same after a few more uses. So far, so good. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.